Hi guys, I'm Bengt Viberg from Sweden with patented sting-free snooze and two-in-one snooze. I'm watching snoozetv.com. I hope you do as well. <laughs> Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Matt from snoozecentral.org and snoozetv.com. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today and like always, enjoying quality Swedish snooze. I'd like to give a special shout out and thank you to Mr. Binkt Viberg from Stingfree Snooze for the welcoming video at the beginning of this. And uh, if you guys would like to do a similar welcome like that, please feel free to do so. Uh, it's gotta be anywhere from five to 15 seconds at the most. Be fun with it, have fun, you know, do something interesting and, uh, you know, just be yourself. So if you'd like to welcome and open the channel, the uh, link is going to be in the description box below where you can send the short video to do so. And I will add it to the, to the beginning of these reviews. So I did want to say too that uh, SnoozeCon 2018 is in the works and I already miss every single one of you guys that I met at SnoozeCon. We had a blast, and if you want to uh, be informed with all of those videos, if you miss SnoozeCon, I have one posted on my channel, and Snoopy has the rest. So if you guys want to uh, take a look at those past videos, please do so. It'll give you a taste of what's to come in 2018. But that aside, we're still a whole year away from that. I'm just excited. I can't wait. So anyway, what are we going to be looking at today? Well, none other than a new product from Jakobsen's or Gotland Snooze, which is Glviva and Vool. This is a special edition, or I would say probably a new product that just hit the market from these guys, and it's their summertime, springtime offering. This is a really, really good flavor, guys. So before I jump into the flavor profile, let's talk a little bit about what is Galiviva in Vool, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Again, I'm not Swedish. <laughs> I just try my best to pronounce it. Um, but anyway, Galiviva is a plant that is known to grow where cows are. And being <laughs> on a farm setting here, um, again, you know, what's behind me is different, but uh, that was actually shot from my backyard. Anyway, that aside, um, I have cows by me, and a lot of them. I have about 25 head of cattle here that uh, my family owns. And man, I don't know if I've ever seen this plant. And if I have, I'm pretty much blind to it. But it does offer an interesting flavor to this snooze. Now, Gulviva is known to be a sweetener, a natural sweetener, that's used in medicine and tea, as well as candy, and uh, some other things too. And it's an interesting flavor. It's very naturally sweet and just different. I can't really pinpoint it. Um, and then Vool is violet. So this is essentially a violet and cowlisp flavored snooze. And when I first popped this in, oh man, those flavors were just so good. I mean, it is a flavored sweet snooze, but it's nothing like candy. So when you first pop this in, and again, I have one in for this video, you get a nice, really uh, medium bodied flavored sweetness that's sweet, but not too oversweet. It's not sickly sweet like candy, but it's just enough. The cow lisp is very close to like a honey or a honeysuckle type of flavor. If you've ever picked those little purple flowers off the ground and, um, you know, used them, you know, as a, you know, you dipped them on your tongue or you sucked on the, the flower. Uh, that's a, basically what I'm getting out of this as far as the sweetness goes. And the violet, the violet is really good. It's more of uh, in the medium ground, it's not really in the forefront, it's not really in the background, but it's right there in that center spot. So you get the nice colorless sweetness with the violet floral tones. And it's a very good snooze. Now you do get a little bit of a hint of tobacco, but nothing too crazy. There's not really a lot of salt presence here either, which is good because I don't think that salt would lend its hand to this sweetness. But it's a darn good flavored snooze. Now, nicotine content on this one is sitting at a solid 0.9%. So it's a little bit higher than your average normal nicotine strength. But for a flavored snooze that's meant to be enjoyed with maybe tea or, uh, you know, a beverage of your choice, um, you know, like a flavored water or something like that, or fruit water, you don't want something that's gonna be really over, 
tightly knit. You don't want something that's going to be way too strong. You want something to kick back and relax, get that right amount of nicotine and the right amount of flavor to mix with your beverage or by itself. And I think they really did a great job mixing these flavors together. It's an enjoyable experience. Now the flavor longevity on this one is going to last you a good solid 45 minutes in the upper lip. And that's about it. Once it hits that 45 minute mark, the flavor is pretty much done. I'm not really complaining about it because there's enough here to keep you satisfied. And if it went over that 45 minute mark, in my opinion, it would be too much. So I think they did a great job balancing out all the flavor and the nicotine on this one with the flavor longevity. Uh, the portions are very soft in the upper lip, as you guys would come to expect and know from Jakobsen's or Gotland Snus. It's like a pillow. And I'll get more into the, the portion look and the uh, gram weight and everything in a minute. But it's just an all around solid snus for the summer. So anyway guys, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this can in a little bit closer detail and we'll wrap this up. All right guys, let's get a little bit closer with the new Jakobsen's Golviva and Vool. So as you guys can see, it has the traditional Jakobsen's white can, very, very nice. And the compass design that's found on the inside, very sharp, nice detailed presentation there. I absolutely love this. And you know what? If, ja if Jakobsen's or Gotland Snus opted for a bigger catch lid, I would be bummed out in a way because it takes away from the whole aesthetic of this can. And as you can see, it has that nice, uh, you know, spring, summertime theme going on with the yellow on top of the can with the plants around there. And then on the side, you have the gold Jakobsen's with the gold Viva and Vool, and that's pretty much it, aside from that dumb warning label. But yeah, it's a really sharp, nice presentation. And then popping this open and taking a look at the portions, as you guys can see, this is an original portion format, very nice and moist portions, probably right around the 55 to 60% moisture there as an original portion goes. So it's not too overly moist, it's perfect in my opinion for an original portion snooze. And uh, yeah, these guys have hit the nail on the head with their portion format. Not only is it soft, not only does it have the perfect moisture, but it's 20 portions per can at a full one gram portion weight. So you get plenty of tobacco in these portions. That translates to more nicotine, in my opinion, and more flavor. So it's a really nice offering, very nice and plump in the upper lip. So if you like a, that huge portion mouthfeel, this is not gonna let you down in the slightest. Very nice job, Gotland Snooze for the can design and the portion format. I absolutely love it. So keep it up, guys. I can't wait to try your uh, your other seasonal offerings you got. I wonder if you guys tweak the flavors. Oh well, we'll see. That's for a future review. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this snooze or if you haven't tried it yet, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you liked about this snooze, what you didn't like about it, or if you haven't tried it yet, what you're expecting out of this one. I would say it's a good two thumbs up for me. I enjoy this one quite a bit. It's not my daily driver, but if I want to kick back and relax and uh, get a beverage and just, you know, watch the cows in my backyard, I'll pop this snooze in. It's a good one. So yeah, highly recommended by me if you haven't tried it yet. So I don't know if it's going to be a seasonal offering or if they're going to have it year round. Uh, but if, you know, if that's the case, don't miss out on this one. Go ahead and pick up a couple cans to try. Uh, I wouldn't go for a roll of this one right off the bat. I would say a couple cans because this is something that could mix up your daily rotation. Add something interesting and different for the summertime. So anyway, guys, if you want to stay connected in the world of Swedish snus, be sure to check out none other than snooscentral.org for the latest articles my friend Larry Waters wrote. It's a goldmine of information. I know I say that on every video, but it truly is. Don't forget to check out our Facebook and Instagram page for some quick hits along the day. I will be posting some more Instagram photos here in the next week. Uh, I've been sort of slacking on that, and sorry about that, guys, but uh, every time I post a photo, I get some good feedback, so... That's a bonus. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for Jakobsen's Gleviva and Vool. Until next time, you guys know the drill. 
Enjoy good snooze. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.